Hello everyone, so I was thinking I should do another Plan With Me video. It has been a while, so I thought, you know, June is coming up and um, it's time for summer and stuff and I was really in the mood for a summery theme. And so I am gonna show you how I create this spread that I also posted on my Instagram. You can check it out at Art and Bullets. I'll link it down below. And um, yeah, so I just did this little page. I thought it was kind of cute. Since I did really enjoy the theme I did for May, which was roses, and so yeah, as you can see, I wrote I May in like a sort of script um, hand lettering font, <laughs> and then I just uh, doodled some roses around it just to kind of like frame the typography. I used a pilot juice pen to just do the outlines. And then the tombos to fill it in. So um, I'm gonna link all the stuff I use down below so you can check it out there. Um, I mainly use the Tombow Jewel brush pens, the Tombow Funonosuke hard tip, and um, yeah that's pretty much it. <laughs> so I'll link everything down below. I used a gel pen, a gold gel pen, to do little dots at the end. This was kind of frustrating. Uh, my camera died so I didn't really record um, the start of the cover page for June but <laughs> I wanted to do citrus fruits so like a really summery theme and like really bright and colorful and so I just doodled um, some citrus fruits like lemon slices and orange slices and stuff like that. So as you can see it wasn't really important but yeah I just thought it was kind of funny. Um, so I just went in with a white gel pen as well and I did grapefruit, orange and lemon and then I drew some little leaves around it and yeah I just wanted to have a really summery and like happy theme. <laughs> So yeah, and then I just did a little overview of the month of June underneath it so I could just um, come back to it and, and just see the month in one little square there. So next up I did a little brain dump page. Um, I do find those very useful. Especially if I'm really busy, I just need to write something down really quick and I can just um, put it down there. And yeah, I just kind of use it as a space to doodle or to just brainstorm ideas and just everything that needs to be written down basically goes in here. I thought this month I would do just one page for the brain dump. Usually I do a double page, but I I just noticed that I didn't really use it that much, so then uh, I didn't really need that much space for it. So I saw this really cute idea from Amber's Notebooks on Instagram. I'm gonna link her down below 
she does really nice spreads as well she does bullet journaling and i love her illustrations and everything you should definitely check her out and so she does this sometimes like the font of the month which i thought was a really cute idea so i decided to do one today as well and uh, I just wanted a little more of a sort of dynamic font for the month because it was all like really upbeat and you know happy and summery and stuff and so I thought this font was uh, quite fitting and yeah I just wrote down the alphabet and then the numbers as well course I had to do some more doodles. This month is actually one of my favorites so far because I usually don't really like doodles that take really long so the oranges and stuff is just really quick so you don't have to just spend like an hour on a spread like that. And then underneath I thought I would just write a little quote there. It says stop thinking and start doing, which uh, I can relate to because <laughs> I usually overthink a lot of things. Yeah, I thought that was a cute little reminder for me. So next up is my monthly overview. I used this um, sort of uh, yellow-orangey color to just do the days basically. days of the week on the top and then I just divided the little um, lines on the top I don't like to use a lot of straight lines in my spreads I just think it's more appealing um, to just have minimal lines and more like white space and stuff and then I just wrote down the numbers of the days did some little sidebars where I can write down my goals, um, ideas for YouTube, some events that are happening and my expenses. And then I just wrote June overview. And then of course the duels again. I just did some grapefruit and um, some oranges and some lemons as well. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, <laughs> not really a lot happening here. Last but not least, I did my weekly spread, which I have been using this uh, sort of format for a while now and I really enjoy it and it really works well for me. So I just do three bars on one side, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then four on the other side. Um, it's like this long rectangle for each day, which you can use for a lot of content if you have a lot of stuff to do or, you know, it, it just gives you a lot of space to work with. And then of course some doodles in the corner just to keep it all together and tie it in with the rest of the spreads. So then I just wrote weekly overview on the top is a little header and then some more doodles. <laughs> it really doesn't stop with the doodles this month. Yeah, no shit, honey!
So then I did my expenses, my goals, and some notes, just a little notes section if I needed in the week. I don't really do habit trackers anymore uh, just because I find myself not using them a lot and um, I just like to write it down in the week itself. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I actually really enjoyed the spread and um, so I hope you like it too. And um, definitely check me out on Instagram if you're interested. I post a bunch of uh, doodles and sketches and also bullet journal related stuff on there. So if you're interested, go follow me there. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.